Hi, my name is Judith King and I'm an insect production technician here at BASF in North Carolina. I work in the agricultural industry in an insectary where we grow insects from eggs all the way to adults so that we can test them. We have multiple moth species, we have stink bug species, we have several beetle species, all of which we grow from eggs through larvae or nymph stages all the way to adults. Uh, the room we're currently in is actually used to separate out what we need for stink bug testing on site. When I was in elementary school, I loved to watch Animal Planet and got to see lots of wonderful conservationists like Steve Irwin who helped me develop what I wanted to do in as, as an adult. And when I was in middle school, I actually had two fantastic teachers. I had Miss Appleby and Dr. Kozalak, both of whom really loved biology and were great at teaching it to young minds. And I had one teacher throughout all of high school that I took three or four different classes with named Ms. Lanus, who personally would sit down with me during study halls and help me get even more biology knowledge than the other students because I really wanted to know more and she helped me a lot on my way to college. I started off college as an environmental science major at NC State, but I ended up switching my first semester to ecology, evolution, and conservation biology because my first major actually had a lot of computer science and physics in it that wasn't necessarily something I was my strong suit and wasn't necessarily what I wanted to pursue. I took many classes in biology and ecology. I took marine biology and conservation classes. I took a phylogeny class where I learned how everything from the beginning of known evolution developed. And unfortunately along the way I had some issues where I had to leave college for a little while, some personal things. And I came back three years later after doing online college and working for three years. When I came back, I was a little older than everybody else, sure, but it wasn't a huge deal and I managed to actually find a professor who really helped me out through that. Her name was Dr. Patchouli and she was absolutely wonderful. She let me join her research on primate habitat deforestation in my last semester and she really helped me out when I was looking for jobs after college too. I got my first job after college at NC State working on a field site in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, which is near actually where I grew up in Nashville. I was working on fields that had corn and wheat and soybeans and cotton. We were looking at insect damage. We were also looking at things for PhD degrees. And through that job, I actually got offered the opportunity to work on insect rearing for the first time. And I worked with moths, so we use lots of paintbrushes in moth work and that was the first time I learned that I used paintbrushes to move larvae on the diet where they live until they become pupae. After that, I moved on to another job thanks to a recommendation I got from that one at NC State with the Barack Lab where I was working as an assistant to a PhD student who was working on a strawberry pollinator project which was looking at conservation of native bee species. I really enjoyed doing that. We actually collected bees in strawberry fields every day. We would freeze the bees at a very low temperature so that the DNA didn't degrade and eventually we tested them for viruses to see if any honeybee viruses were being passed to native bees. I also got to work on a few other things at that lab, some blackberry field projects. I counted a bunch of insects on sticky cards actually, which are uh, yellow cards with a glue on them that collect insects, in this case, in the field, so that we can see the diversity in specific, at this case, tobacco fields. I also got the opportunity while I was there to rear a new kind of insect. I was rearing spotted wing drosophila, which is a very small fruit fly. It's an insect pest. and. I learned a whole new way of rearing that was completely different than I had worked on at the previous location with moths. Uh, my lab manager at my position at Barack Lab actually got an email from John Melito here at BASF asking if anyone who worked at her location might be good for an insectary job. And she immediately thought of me 
So fortunately, I got the offer through networking to interview here at BASF, and that was how I got my temporary position as a contingent here. As an insect production technician, I take care of several different species of insect, all the way from eggs through adults. One that I particularly take care of are stink bugs, and I spend a lot of time actually with the egg masses specifically, weeding them out to find the absolute best ones so that we can have the best possible adults as they, after they develop. I also have worked with all of our moth species, which again, we use paintbrushes. <laughs> We use a lot of paintbrushes to put larvae onto diet that is made especially for moths. We collect the pupae, which then become adults, and we care for them as adults to collect the eggs again and take care of as we need. When I work with stink bug eggs, I actually work at a desk with a microscope so that I can study them very closely and count the eggs so we know how many we have going into the cages. When I work with things like moths, I work in different rooms that have different hoods for different purposes. So in moth adult rooms, we have hoods that pull the scales away to reduce allergen exposure. In moth larvae room, in our moth larvae setup room, we have one that actually blows outwards so that it keeps mold from forming on our fresh diet. And we have one more hood, which is where we collect our pupae and it once again pulls allergens away so that we aren't exposed to those while collecting pupae. Time management is really important at my job because we have a lot of different tasks with every colony every day and some days are heavier than others so if we need to do something like cleaning or go get something from our storage space we should make sure we do those on lighter days and not have to do them on heavier days. We also prepare ahead of time if we can, say we're going to be out for a day or something, we make sure that everything's ready for the next day for another person to take over so that it doesn't occupy extra of their time either. Attention to detail is also very important at my job. We have to pay a lot of attention to everything we do, especially at a young age in colonies, so that if anything is in a little bit off, we can stop a problem before it becomes a big deal. Communication is also really important, especially between team members and researchers. We have to communicate with each other so that if one of us has to be out for a day or if something comes up that someone needs to switch colonies, everyone knows exactly what they need to do and we don't have to ask a ton of questions last minute. We also have to have really good communication with researchers because we provide a lot of insects for them and we need to make sure that we provide the right thing, that they're getting the right quality, and help out any way we can with that. Other careers in this industry can include things like biologists, chemists, lab managers, or quality control technicians, which all are here at BASF. And you can also have other careers outside of here, like professors. My advice for students is to find something you really love to do. When I started out, I was in environmental science, but found out that that was a little different than I expected and had some computer aspects and other things that weren't necessarily for me. So I looked into my options and switched over to conservation biology, which really fit what worked for me as a person. I also really suggest looking out for people that will help you out along the way, finding mentors, professors, teachers in high school, who really know what they're talking about and who really see what you want to do and want to help you get there.